everyone, my name is Grinvit and welcome to a little game called Nerdy. It's a demo at the moment as you can see. But I found this on Ishaio, so we'll get started. Into it. You find an old, slightly torn apart note on the ground with your name on it. Will you pick it up? Yes. Greetings, dear reader. I must thank you for picking this up. Although, because you did, you're aware that there's no turning back now, correct? You do know that curiosity killed the cat, right? It was super loud in my ears. Just gonna turn it down a bit. Before I send you off on this quest, I would like to ask you something. Since you're reading this, I assume you like stories, right? Then when you read this tale, do you prefer to read about the heroine story? Or will you choose to be the heroine of this, of this story? I want to be the story's protagonist. Let's do that one. You really are a daring one, aren't you? Very well. Now tell me your name. What does it look like that? Can we change it? Oh, we can. Um, let's just go that. Enter. How much have I got to ask you? The most important thing. What is the one thing that is most precious to you? This is your first task. Remember to never forget. What had to be today? Of all days, why right now? <sighs> Taking me with them, even though I look like this. Oh, hi. Why? 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 I looked. I looked so cute back then. I miss it. I miss my long hair so much. It was so adorable. Now I look so... so... ugh. This is so stupid. Who do my parents think I am? Ken? Why did they have to drag me with them when I look like such a disaster? Fred! Can you please... Stop looking at yourself in the mirror, you see, and help us get these things already. Um, hello. Who doesn't like themselves, doesn't look at themselves in the mirror, they see. That's like the first thing anyone does, mom. Oh, fine. But, but after this, we're going to have to buy me that dress I wanted. Oh, excuse me. That's seriously, that's seriously the least you can do. Do you know how much that dress costs, Squid? You're not ri we're not rich. You know, ask for something cheaper. Is it your dad? Yeah, it's my dad. Mum's right, Squid. You always ask for the most expensive things. And you don't even use them. Look at how many clothes you already have. I've already. I can't believe this. I mean they're telling me how expensive the shirt is, yet they completely ignore the fact that my beautiful long hair got utterly ruined. And all because they asked me to clean that stupid living room after dad brought home those dumb toys. And seriously dad, how can anyone, how can anyone even have too many clothes? It isn't fair! You both knew that I didn't want to come with you guys today. My hair looks terrible. Horrible. And it isn't even my fault. It's because both of you forced me to clean the living room. Because of that, those dumb toys got stuck in my hair. It's totally not fair. I helped you and this is what I get for it? 
the least you can do is buy me that dress that dress for me and some other things that I want to. <sighs> Liquid, I guess. Alright, we'll get them after we finish shopping. Can you please go and find the things on our list first? <laughs> Good. It worked. At the very least, I can now get something in return for this terrible misfortune. <sighs> I guess. But you should be grateful that I'm still helping you. Uh, even after you're forcing me to go around the store with this dumb looking hair. Honestly, I really don't want to do this at all. I mean, since it's me, I know this hair can't look that bad. <laughs> but I'm still not used to it at all. I mean, look at it. Not to mention, this is super boring. But I have to keep a positive outlook. My cute dress depends on it. And I mean, it is kind of expensive. I suppose I could do this for my parents. If anything, it gives me a chance to pick up, pick out more things I want them to buy for me. Since, well, if I totally force them to buy me that dress right away, they'll probably nag me for ages. <sighs> well, I guess it wouldn't be too bad to wait for a sale, but whatever. Towels. Towels. Um, why does mum need more towels anyway? Oh, whatever. The faster I gather up all these dumb things, the less I'll have to wait to get my things. As I walked along the towel aisle, I couldn't help the strange sensation of being watched. Not that it's strange that I'm being looked at since, well, it's me and all, but Something felt a bit off. I'm sure I don't mind the stairs, but this... I don't want to say it feels not ominous, but it kind of does. I looked around a bit. Well, I... a lot, actually. Good thing there's no one in this aisle, or else I'd probably look like an idiot doing this. Not to mention, I'm starting to feel a little light -headed. Probably anima or something, I don't know. <sighs> I really don't feel so well. I guess I should go find a place to sit down or something. It's not like the things on the list are going anywhere. Growing dizzier by the second, I try to sit myself on an aisle rack. I'm kind of used to getting dizzy spells, but not this severe. I'm combining that with the super creepy feeling I got earlier. I just Quinn! Quinn! What in what was that sound? Sound like it sound like my name. Dad? Mom? Are you there? Looked around again and no sight of dad or mum. Am I just hearing things? Jeez, does the feeling fate make you hear things too? Or maybe the boredom of doing this it, or maybe the boredom of doing this is already driving me insane still that was just creepy I hope I didn't create some sort of culpa or something without noticing it that'd be weird but honestly it would explain so many things this nauseating feeling increased increasing I look up to the top of the rack when Beep. Boom! Opening my eyes, I found myself lying on the ground. A bunch of throw pillows all around me. What? What happened? What just happened? Ow! Oh, did these pillows actually manage to knock, knock me out? Are you kidding me? Actually, never mind. It was probably the dizzy spell. I think I was. I don't think I was out for long, anyways. But ah, uh, now I'm back. I probably ruined too. When I try to stand up and angrily pick up the dumb pillows and put them back 
Then put those in, put them back in their place. I noticed something flat lying on the floor, out of the corner of my eye. <sighs> and just as, and just as I thought, I was done too. What a mess of pain! Why do they make tags so easy to fall off, anyways? I could just leave it. Then I'd probably be blamed if someone slipped and fell on it. <sighs> As I went to pick up the tag, I noticed that I was apparently blind since it wasn't a dumb tag, but clearly a piece of paper. Wait. Good. Why does this paper have my name on it? Um, now this was mega creepy. Just to hear some creepy voice calling my name, and I suddenly black out. And, and now, and now this? Please don't tell me I'm being stalked. Oh gosh, why did I have to be so cute? Still, should I open it? That would probably be a stupid, a really stupid thing to do. I think it would be better if I just ignored it. But I'm already holding it. What if it's somehow set to explode if I let it go, let go of it? Or, or maybe just... It's just a prank. Maybe my parents left it here to like teach me a lesson or something stupid like that. <sighs> Fine then, Dad and Mom. I'll play along with your little game. This will be the stupidest and most idiotic decision of my life. I open that note. Ah, so you finally found my message, have you? You're very smart, Gwyn. Don't not rush it into reading this. I commend you on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, now that you've read it, your fate has been sealed. What? What is this? This doesn't sound like anything my parents would write. How did I? How did it know that I didn't want to open it? This. This is a joke, isn't it? You're probably thinking this is a joke, right? Then that wouldn't be very smart of you, Gwyn. After all, your life isn't the only one at stake here. You know where your parents are right now? My... my parents? It terrified me. I rapidly reached inside my purse to get my phone so I could call my parents. It said to be some sort of stupid joke. This is I was about to dial the number, however. Beep! Beep! Boop! I see the text message. This, what? What is this? Pictures I received in the message showed parts of my parents' clothing and some of their belongings. And there was some sort of strange device attached to them. I had no idea what that thing was. But I started to tremble uncontrollably. You shouldn't worry, though. Your parents and all the other people around them are aware. And they might be hours away from being poisoned. Wait, what? What? No. No. It couldn't be happening. It could just be a joke. It has to be a joke. Could we- with- in hands and nearly in tears, I took another look at the note. Why don't you take a look at your blouse? See that there? That's the same device your parents and other people have. However, yours is a little different. Well, it won't harm you if you even dare to leave this model. Because those devices should go off. Killing everyone who has one. Upon reading this, I immediate, immediately checked all over my blouse, and just as the note said, I had the same device hidden on the back of my collar on my blouse. Now, if you wish to save the life of your parents, all you need to do is follow my simple instructions. Go to the store right across from this one. That is where you will find your child. 
Good luck, sweet Gwyn. I can't. I, I just can't. This cannot be real. This has to... This just has to be fake. Uh, please be a joke. No matter how much I tried to convince myself that this was just some cruel and sick joke. I couldn't stop the trail of warm tears running down my face. No. I have to calm down. I won't be able to think reasonably if I keep crying like this. I know this might be stupid of me to do, that there's still a slight chance that this may just be some farce, or worse, a trap set for me. But what the note said about my parents and the other people, I, I just can't take the risk and ignore it. They haven't accepted what the note said. I decided to call my parents. I wasn't sure what would happen if they left them all. But taking what the note said into account, they would probably set off those devices. Put them my phone and dial my dad's number. I hoped. I hoped that it wouldn't be the last time. Ring. Ring. Um. Hey, Dad? Gwen, where are you? We tried to find you all over the store. Are you done with the shopping list? Um, well, about that. Uh. Um. What should I tell him? I didn't think this out. Turn to a friend. We're going to go shopping, alright. I'm feeling kind of dizzy, so I think I'm gonna head outside the door. I um, ran into a friend. We're going to go shopping, alright? Um, I think the friend one. Like, like the note said, if I leave the store, it might trigger the devices, so... Look, I ran into a friend and we're going shopping, alright? A, a friend? Oh, shoot. A friend? Wait, why did I say that? I don't even have friends. Yes, you and mum can find the things yourself since they just kept messing up anyway. So both of you just wait for me around the mall or something, but don't go outside or... Um, my phone is losing charge so I won't be able to call you, okay? But Gwyn, you told- we told you to look- Look dad, just listen, alright? I'll help you guys when I come back. Both you and mum. I'm really sorry I didn't help much in- well... Gwyn? What? The- the thing seems to be dying. Never mind. My friend's calling me so I- I'm going to go, alright? Goodbye. With my voice cracking, I hang up on Dad quickly. I wanted to... I wanted to tell them both how much I love them. But once again, I wasn't able to. So we're right across from this one. While I'm here, just I hope this is the store the note talked about. Or wrote about, whatever. But what the heck does it expect me to do? They're frantically looking around the store like a total idiot. I mean, I don't even have the slightest clue as to what it is I'm looking for. Is it another note or something? Well, I probably look even stupider standing out outside of the store talking to myself. I guess I should probably go in. Despite probably looking crazy. I looked around every inch of this stupid floor and found something no absolutely nothing. Was this really a joke after all? No. Stop trying to delude yourself, Gwen. This is anything but a joke. I mean, yes, I have no way of proving this is real either. The devices could very well be fake. And then, but then how am I to know if they are or not. The 
guess it's better trying to be safe than sorry. I guess I should go... I should go around again. Maybe it has some weird requirement like. If I look around the store three times and stand in the middle of the electronics department or facing a 30 inch TV at exactly 1.15 or something dumb you'll find in a game like that. This is going to be impossible, isn't it? Boom! Yeah! What was that? It sounded like it came from the aisle next to me. I don't know after those pillows fell on, on me before, so maybe without thinking about it so further. I definitely ran to the next aisle, tearing tears welling in my eyes, hoping I could get an explanation for all explanation to this whole ordeal. As I probably should have expected, fate decided to make things harder for me once again. I hope the note. Oh, hello! Hi, dude! Wait, what? Did something just fall in this aisle? Why is there just some guy here? Wait, he's holding. This, it looks just like the note I found. Please be joking. Now, how am I going to get that paper? Does this guy have no manners? Why would he even pick up paper that's not his? Well, I don't know for sure. It's meant for me. That looks exactly like the other one. It can't be just a coincidence. Hey, do you need something? Yep. I thought he didn't see me. Um... I was right, this is my note. It has my name on it. You mean standing there, staring at me for the past five minutes? Are you lost? Do you want me to take you to the front desk? A rude! How dare this guy! First he takes my note, then he treats me like some lost kid. No, I'm not lost for your information. I heard, loud, I heard, I heard a loud noise coming from this aisle, so I was just trying to find where it came from. I wasn't staring at you. Ah, it's restricted of me. That's a glorious comeback. Alright. Which is why you mumbled something about a nut when you ran into the aisle. You think I'm deaf, girl? I didn't even hear that. <sighs> Pretty pointless to hide it now. <sighs> well, unless you actually a girl, his name is Gwen. That note that you're holding is mine. Now I'll give it back. Oh, so it is meant for you then. Can you explain the contents of it? Explain the contents to him? What is he, my dad? Who does he think he is? Excuse me? But why should I give you an explanation for this? You're the one who picked up something that wasn't your business in the first place. So what if I did? Worrying about me taking your note won't change the fact that I already read it. What's written on it isn't something someone can just ignore. It isn't something that can be ignored. And that means it must be even worse than the last night. <sighs> just... Look, just... Because you won't quit being so nosy, I'll tell you. Be grateful. Um, yes, this is for my... For a treasure hunt. Treasure hunt that I organized along with my friends. Happy now, Mr. Inquisitive. Now, if that's all, I'll take... My note. I hope he buys it and leaves me alone already. Do I look like a goddamn idiot to you? You expect me to believe that some prissy girl like you would organize something like this? He didn't buy it. How do you know? 
I could very well be capable of organizing something like this. So you expect me to believe you? Do you expect me to to believe you take the little treasure hunt so seriously that you'd be nearly in tears as you desperately came running into this aisle in search of this note? You're as terrible a liar as you look. What did he just say? Okay, I'm just going to ignore that since this really isn't the time. But this guy seriously noticed all that. Jeez. Just have no choice but to tell him now. I mean, he already read the note anyway. Not to mention, I really can't hide the fact that my tears are overflowing with. I can't really hide the fact that my eyes are overflowing with my tears, not my tears overflowing with my eyes. Fine. You're right, okay? I have no idea what these notes are or why. They want me to do these stupid things. I really don't know why. Thankfully, the guy looked like he actually believed me this time. Just please give me the note. I don't know what it says, but if it's something like the first one, I have no choice but to listen to it again. Pausing for a bit, the guy handed me a note with a reluctant look on his face. See, just to read its contents. You made a wise choice, Gwen. As I promised, here are your instructions. I will give you five tasks, and you will need to complete them without fail in order to save your parents. If you fail to fail a task or decide to quit, they and everyone else in that store will die. You are also advised that they cannot leave the mall either, or the poison will be set off automatically. Now, are you ready for your first task? Go inside the cafe, it is on the west wing of this mall, exactly 2.04pm. The second task will be waiting for you. Favorable luck, my precious little Gwen. I had to tremble a bit. I read in those last few sentences. I had a feeling it was probably the case. I'm glad I told my parents not to leave them all. But five tasks? I need to complete five tasks? Why? What more will I have to do? 1 p.m. What? It's currently 1 p.m. Wait, he was still here. If you just... If you just stand here, you'll waste time, more time. The West Ring isn't anywhere near here. He's right. So he already got what he wanted and forced me to tell him about all this. Why isn't he gone yet? Look, I know you already know about this, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Now people are already involved, and if you tell even more people, who knows what will happen to my parents? So please, just keep quiet about it, okay? Just forget this ever happened and go on your merry way. Huh! You don't think I'm just gonna fuck off, do you? I read that thing already, and who knows what kind of danger that alone put me in. Besides, if you can even find this note, what the hell are you going to do for the rest of these tasks? As if only reading something would put you in, dan in any danger, Mr. Coward. It's not even meant for you. Look, I don't think you'll be in any danger just by reading it. Why would you even care if I couldn't do these tasks anyway? Call it curiosity, or whatever. But I'm pretty interested in how this will turn out. What is wrong with this guy? In any case, I already know about your situation here. 
so I can just go ahead and call law enforcement. But who knows what that would cause, right? I certainly hate to admit it, but he's right. It's not like I can just shoo him away and he'll just go and make everything worse. <sighs> Fine, whatever. But since you insist on coming along, you have to you're going to have to help me do these tasks. Anything they would tell me to do. You don't look like you can do anything by yourself. So whatever. Let's just get going already. Time's running. I suppose it might not be so bad to have someone helping me, right? At least I don't have to deal with this all alone. Wait, am I seriously trusting this guy? Just because he kind he's kind of hot? No. What am I even thinking? Oh. I see you have someone helping you now, don't you? How will that turn out, I wonder? Will you obey or disobey, Rita? Um, obey. I'm exhausted. Can we take one of those more car things? It's gonna make me sweat and that is super gross. You should have thought about the size of this mall before you decided to wear those clothes. Um, excuse me? Just what is wrong with my outfit? You came to a mall. That's some fashion show. Look around you. You're the only one wearing that type of overly cutesy clothing. Of course, you're going to get fucking tired. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just insult my fashion sense? The absolute nerve. That is so rude. If everyone else isn't as fashionable as me, then that's their problem. Everyone else isn't running around heels, being tired as hell for the sake of looking like some frilly doll. Okay, that's it. What he's talking, Mr. Hot Topic, is my love and life. I'm not even wearing heels. <laughs> well, I don't see why you're talking since your alpha just screams boy band reject. Reject. Boy band? Huh. Whatever. At least I don't look 12 years old. 12 years? What? Okay, that's it. Just... Just... Heck off! This guy... This looks a totally wasted on that terrible attitude of his. Wait, um... It's not late to be thinking about this, but... What the heck is this guy's name anyway? I need to ask him, aren't I? Hey, um, you. That'd be kind of a pain to keep calling you, you, you. To keep calling you, you. Um, what's your name? It took you this long. Man, where are your manners? Whatever, it's ace. Manners? I remember you asking mine either. Why would I need to when you're the one who told me yourself? Did you forget already? Well, whatever. You still should should have asked. I do what seemed like hours of running thanks to this jerk. We were finally at the West Wing. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry to interrupt so suddenly, dear reader. Unfortunately, this brings us to the end of our dear heroine's journey. At least for now, dear reader. You will finish your task. Ooh. Why don't 
to neutral in. Thank you so much for playing this demo. Really hope you'll come back to play the full game. Hell yeah, I will. Or I might go to the different paths in this demo. Hmm, that'll be interesting. That was cool. I like that. But yeah, I would I would definitely go to the different paths. Like I would do the dude side and then do whatever choices in there. And then go back to the girls to do the other choices I didn't pick, maybe? Maybe that might help. We'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you all for watching and everyone. Stay amazing.